So today I'm going to give you a little tutorial on supervised agriculture experience projects um, or what we call SAE projects, how to add one into your record book, how to log in hours, and how to get your requirement for this class. So um, I made a little demo account. Um, this is for Charlie the dog, um, aka my dog, Charlie. Um, so we're going to make him um, an SAE project today and we're going to log in some hours for the project that he actually has. So here's how we do this. Once you log into your record book, it should take you here to the student dashboard. Um, so there's a couple of different tabs that you can pick. Um, we're going to do a majority of our work in the record book in the journal. That's where a lot of the work takes place. Um, we're going to shortcut here and we're going to go to journal and a couple of these things are going to pop up. So the first thing I'm going to do when I want to add in a new project, meaning I'm just starting fresh, I haven't added one in yet, I'm going to come to project and experience manager. And it says there's no existing experiences, but we can add a new one. Now, um, what I've created is some project ideas, and this is going to be posted in your Google Classroom, of some projects that you can start at home, or maybe you've already started that you just need to, to log into your book. And there's so many here. There's over 100 here. So there's so many different things that you can do. Um, and there's even more that are related to agriculture, the environment, industry, um, food service, food safety, animals, plants, anything like that. All of these things are related to that you can have more than one project. So your requirement in my class is 10 hours and you can have multiple projects that create those 10 projects. You can have 10 projects with one hour each um, as long as you're fulfilling your requirement and they are, um, it's a project that fits in with the requirements of this class. And if you have any questions or maybe you're not quite sure if it fits in with the requirements, you are more than welcome to email me and ask me. Um, but these are all really great options or maybe things that you're already doing at home that can count as your SAE project. Now for today, I'm going to pick one that's pretty simple um, and just kind of show you how I would go about doing that. Um, and just kind of give you a little shortcut as far as what that would look like. So for Charlie, he's decided that he's going to plant some cucumber seeds. Um, and I actually just did this at my house this past week. Um, so we have, um, there's some seeds. Um, we're going to plant them um, in an old butter container. We have like an old plastic margarine container. Um, and we're going to put them on the window so we're going to watch them grow. That's our SAE project. So I'm going to show you how to put that in the book. So you're here back in the project and experience manager and I want to add a new project. So I'm going to click there and I'm just going to call this cucumber plants. Now this is a short descriptive name and I've also capitalized it which is really important. It's an individual based project because it's at home, it's not at school, and it's not something involved in community service so it's going to be individual. And then I'm going to pick one of the project types that would best fit this. So um, the project type normally is, it, it's going to tell you a couple of descriptions here and you can kind of read through and figure out which one would match for yours. For mine today, mine is going to be a more foundational project. Um, it's a foundation project, it's open to all students, especially those who are beginning. It encourages you to transition one of the other SAE types um, as far as time goes, so you're learning about a career, those types of things. Um, especially since I'm not planning on selling these um, cucumbers, I may later, and maybe I can switch it over, um, but this is just gonna be a basic foundational project. I'm just growing them at home. Um, so it's gonna be under the term plant systems, and it's a vegetable crop, and so that's my project. And of course I need to hit save. So here I am. A lot of this is red because a lot of these things aren't complete yet. These things you don't need to worry about. I'm going to post some things later on that show you how to manage this, specifically the financial entries, but I'm not really going to worry about that right now. The most important part is fin finishing your plan. That's what I look at when I go and grade your record book. I also look at journal entries, but I'll show you those in just a minute. So I'm going to click plan. So you'll notice here that there are three different tabs. And each one has two boxes. The top one has a description of, of what can be 
in the box down here. There's also a spell check button because we're going to need that. This is a, a typed portion. So we want to make sure that everything is capitalized and spelled correctly and that this looks professional. Now, just for the sake of time in the video, I went ahead and typed portions out. Um, but sometimes here's what helps. You can copy and paste this portion down here and then you can fill in the blanks. Now, what looks really unprofessional is if you just copy and paste this and you leave those things blank. Don't do that. That's not good. Okay, so don't do those things. But if you want to copy and paste certain aspects that actually apply to it, like this one, let's say that I started that project today so I can go through on 3, 31, 20, and I would say it's not going to end. So we can modify this to fit our project. Um, you don't have to use everything that's in here. Sometimes the question that I get is, well, my project doesn't really require safety because I'm just planting cucumber seeds in my windowsill. Then you wouldn't have to put that there. You're only going to fill in the things. Um, it's a summary of your project to help quickly share important aspects. These are some things to consider. They don't have to be in there. So I went ahead and did a project plan in advance. It looks something like this. And I already have that in my plan. My project will consist of growing cucumbers in my window and my kitchen. My ultimate plan is to grow the cucumbers from seed, learn how they grow, what their requirements are, and harvest them for my family to eat. The project will start today, 3-31-20, and as of now has no foreseeable ending. My goals are to learn about growth, plant the cucumbers in my yard, and harvest them. That's it. That is a great project to start at home. Um, so we're going to move on. The next thing is time investment, right? So we're going to choose the best sentences that are going to begin my plan. Um, I will spend whatever amount of hours and whatever activity. So for this one, I'm going to spend, I will spend one hour a week, whoops, managing my plants. I will monitor growth and water them as needed. I will transplant them in the yard when they are fully developed and harvest the cucumbers when they grow. Done. That's my plan. I'm going to spend about an hour a week doing those. Um, the last part says it relates to my career plan. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it does. Maybe I don't know yet. I'm just not going to put that in right now because I don't really know. For financial investment, maybe there's some things that you need to invest in. And chances are if it's in your house, you've already invested in it. So the funds that I need to invest in my project will come from my allowance. My parents have also helped me purchase supplies. That's okay too. Um, or maybe they were just laying around the house already. Whatever that is, put that in whatever is true for you. This is your project. So I'm not going to grade you based on how well you follow this prompt exactly. I'm going to follow you based on, I'm going to grade you based on how in depth it is, which is really important. So um, you can ask me any questions that you need as far as what needs to go in this section, but again, pretty self explanatory. So um, the other thing I would would caution you against is I always like to save and return and come back just to make sure that I'm saving my work because it doesn't always do that. You'll also notice that I'm capitalizing complete sentences. I'm using spell check if I need to. Um, that's kind of the nice thing about this is that it does that for you. Um, and you can just type in here when you're ready to go and just remember to hit save. Now the last part is learning objectives. For some projects, you may only have these two tabs, but this one's always going to be here. This one is a little bit different. So I have to pick standards that are what we call um, foundational learning outcomes or, or learning outcomes. So I'm going to click this, my skill areas, and this is the skill area that I've picked. That's my category. So I'm going to pick one or a few of these that actually relate to my project. So I'm going to read through these. If I don't know exactly what that standard is or what those activities might look like, 
This will pop up here if you scroll over the question mark. So um, these are some activities up here that might relate to my project specifically. So I'm going to click this standard and it's going to be highlighted in red, which means I've selected it. And this is something that I'm also planning on doing. I'm going to prepare some soil for my plants. I'm going to pick the right medium for using it. So I'm going to select that one as well. Um, determine an, an influence, determine the influence environmental factors on plant growth. That's absolutely something I'm going to do. Water, um, pest management, making sure that they get enough sun. Those are all environmental factors. So those are things that relate to my project. These things down here, um, I'm not really going to classify plants according to taxonomic systems. Um, those, that's not really what's going to happen right now. Maybe these things I can get to later or I haven't quite gotten there yet, but um, I'm just going to pick a couple that relate. I'm going to hit save and go back to my SAE plan. Once I'm here, I've picked planned activity. So I'm going to put in some that would relate to each of these. So the one I picked earlier for this one is make sure plants are getting sun and plenty of water. I will select soil for my plants. Um, and Charlie the dog might be snoring in the background, so you may be hearing him. I apologize. Um, but these are some things that I'm going to pick just for these standards, and that's really important. And of course, I'm going to hit save. So look at that. My check mark is green. Um, I'm all set to go and my project is done. Um, because this is a beginning project, I'm going to post some videos about these ones and how we add those in. But now it's time to do the important part, which is to put in our hours. Um, and so this week, Charlie and I, um, we went in the backyard and we planted some cucumber seeds. Um, and so we are going to add in our time in our journal. So I'm going to click journal. And there's all sorts of things that we can log in time for. And we can lo log in information on all of these, but for today, we're gonna put time in our AET projects and experiences, or our SAEs. So I'm gonna pick the date. If you're doing things week to week, you can add in your hours once a week, like on a Friday. Um, that's normally when I do mine, because I have my own AET. Or you can do it once a month. Um, you just need to make sure that you're tracking your hours accurately and whatever works best for you. I'm going to select my project and then I'm going to select a skill area. So for me, these are the two ones that I've picked. So today, when I planted my seeds, I actually used both of these. So I'm going to use those to kind of help me prepare my entry. And these standards up here are going to help me describe the activities in which I've been doing. And I know this week we only spent an hour doing that. Um, so I'm gonna use these to kind of um, help me describe my activity. So um, I determined the influence of environmental factors on plant growth, and I also prepared and managed growing media for plant systems. Media is soil. So I prepared soil in a butter container, which is exactly what we did. I planted seeds, cucumber seeds, be specific, watered them, and put them in my window so they can get they can get sun. So this would be a good description of what these standards are up here, and it's really important to use both of these. If you have pictures or you want to snap a picture, that's fantastic. Make sure you check your spelling. If there's nothing there, then you're good. It's not a supervised project. Um, I'm not there specifically with you, um, so you don't have to put me on there. And then you're just gonna hit save. So congratulations, you have one hour on your project. Um, now let's take a look at where your hours are and where they might end up. If you come here to review journal entries, it's gonna show you what's what you have entered so far. Now this happens a lot. Students get here and they say, I don't have any journal activities, oh no. You have to pick the correct activity and type. So right now you don't have any FFA activities, but you do have an experience related activity. So make sure that you use that. And then there you go. There's your entry right there. You can edit it and go back if you need to. You can add in a new project activity and you can actually use this to add in other activities as well. But I'll get, that, um, get to that in my next video. Let me know if you have any questions.